Welcome. In this video tutorial, I will be showing how to create your own live JavaScript IDE. So basically something that looks like this, where you can you know, code whatever you want and you'll see the results on the screen right away. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you can write you know, JavaScript, CSS, whatever you want. And uh, it's also uh, color highlighted. Anyway, I'll show you how to do this right now. First thing is to go to just Google and type in HTML5 doc type. Just go to the first link. And this is the code that we use to just uh, put boilerplate HTML. I'll just paste it here. I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever editor you want. I'll just go ahead and save the file onto my desktop. I'll call it IDE. Okay. And let me just uh, load this file here. And great. Now we have the content of the document. You can delete this. And let's delete the title. The only dependency that I'm going to be using is Ace Editor. That's so we can have syntax highlighting and stuff for the code. So just look for Ace Editor CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. It's basically just the place that hosts uh, the files. So that was just the first link and I'll just go and I just copied and pasted that. So I'll just put it here as the source. All right, in the body, I'm gonna add an onload function. This is, is gonna be the first function that's get, that gets called when everything is ready. In the body, I'll just add a script tag. This is our JavaScript and I'm just gonna put that ready function in here. So you know when this file gets loaded it just says yo alright first thing I will do is create the HTML for this I will put it right inside the body tag okay first thing we will have is a container that's gonna contain my two the editor screen and the uh, and the results screen so the editor let's just give it a div called editor and the, the result screen is actually an iframe, not a div. And I'll just call it iframe. And we won't give it any kind of border. All right. So basically, again, we have a container that has an editor on the left side and an iframe on the right side. And now I will style this in order to make it, to make it work. So let's open up a style tag inside the um, inside the head. This is where our CSS is going to be. First thing is to I'm just going to add these little things. They're not, you know, they're not um, actually some are mandatory, but I just give it a hundred percent height and width. And for some reason, it defaults on like a margin and padding. So we'll just like zero them out and I'll make it so that we don't have any scroll bars in the container. Okay, the editor, the one on the left side will have a height of 100%, width of 50%, and we'll make it inline. Which basically means that when we make something inline, I just wanted to like, you know, take up this much space here, like 50% of, of this width. Now the iframe will be the one on the right side of it. Again, we'll give it a height of 100%. We'll make it inline and we'll give it a width of 50%. Okay, so the iframe will basically be on this side. And because they're both inline, they'll be right next to each other. If I didn't have this inline block thing, then they'd be on separate lines, which we don't want. The container, basically the one that holds these two things, see the container holds the editor and the iframe, we're going to give it a height of 100%, a width of whatever those two elements within it are. We're going to have it not wrap if the screen gets smaller, no scroll bars. So now let me just refresh this and check that Okay, so I have like the iframe here and the editor on the left. Good. Okay, so this that was the CSS and the HTML. Let's just add the uh, JavaScript now. 
So first we need to do is set up the editor. As I said, this is using the Ace editor. There's a bunch of configuration uh, things in there. And I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. It'll just save us all a lot of time. I'm going to have a link in the description that basically shows how to this code so you can just copy and paste that as well. I'll just go over briefly what they do. But here I just pasted it. And okay. So this line just tells us just tells the ace editor to use this tag called the editor so it's going to be on the left side. This is going to this is going to make it a black theme. This will make it HTML mode. This puts the uh, initial stuff in it. So basically the doc type, HTML head and body that we need. One moves the cursor to the end. This is pretty important right here. This is an event that will call our update function that I haven't uh, written yet. But it'll call this update function when something is changed in the editor. And I'll show you what, what uh, we will need to do when that does get called. Editor.focus just puts the uh, you know the cursor in the editor. You can look at these set options later. They're not that important for now, but just a few options here, same as with these, or a couple more options. As you know, we had the ready, and we set up the editor, and now I will do an update. As I said, the update is a pretty important function. I'll show you basically what it does. So. This is the content of the iframe. Okay. Dot content window dot document. Okay, and <clears throat> don't worry about the syntax here too much. This is just the way you do it. In between the open and close, we just so we will get the value of the editor. Okay, everything that you wrote inside the editor and we just put its value onto the iframe and this is how you do it. The editor, if you see before I just did window.editor, that just puts it as a global variable. And so now uh, when I do something like editor.getValue, I'll have access to editor just by doing this. So that's it. Let me just save it and refresh this file. And that's it, we have our code editor, hello. So one thing to note is you can continue running this uh, ID just by clicking on it and then you'll see the Chrome window with, uh, one thing that's kind of annoying is this URL location thingy. And one way to get rid of that is, I'll just run terminal, this is on a Mac, but I'll go to my desktop, let me just create a new I'll create like an executable file here. I'll just copy and paste some stuff in here. This line will, will basically find Chrome. This is the Chrome line and then you do this minus minus app is equal to the file that we just created. And what this will do, and let me just chmod plus exit. Watch what happens to this icon when I do that. Bam. It turns in, into an executable. This is only on Mac uh, Bash scripts, but in Windows you can do it too with a batch file. But what this enables me to do is, as soon as I double click it, then it loads my um, then it loads my file without the URL bar. If you'd like uh, more information on that, you could just uh, look for Chrome App Mode and then you'll see what people are talking about here. This is uh, uh, Windows. Alright, well thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.